You are now listening to Hong Kong 2, the only podcast sanctioned by People's Republic of China, featuring Chris Lynch and Benjamin Taylor. Benjamin Taylor. This is episode zero. And this will be this is this will be sold for five thousand dollars. Yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be the uh Ben or no Martin Screlly uh Wu Tang pot. The, the Martin the, Screlly yeah the, the, this is gonna be the one of one Wu Tang pod equivalent. That'd be awesome if Martin Shkreli actually bought it too. Then he'd have two one of ones. Yeah, they'd have two of twos. Yep. So this we're speeding from that red little mark. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So we're speeding, we're live. And these Hell yeah. uh these are good. Is the drink good? This is a good this is a good drink, yeah. It won't, it won't give you a hangover, I swear. Well the old saying beer before liquor yeah. doesn't was that What's it's the saying? Uh, it's uh, beer, uh, beer before liquor, never sicker. Liquor before beer, you're in the clear. And if there's no beer, if there's no beer, you're in the clear. But if you're drinking, uh, it's the sugar that gets you. So if you if you're drinking a um, a, 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 t- a tequila root beer, uh, you're not gonna um, you're not gonna be feeling too good the next day. <laughs> so. Chris and Ben podcast. Chris and uh, Hong and the, Kong Two, and then and the name of it is Hong Kong Hong Two. Ta- Hong Kong Two uh, because of Bobby Hacker. So Bobby Hacker when gave you us see a this, lot of really really funny suggestions. Yes, and Hong Kong Two was the winner. And if Hong Kong Two for whatever reason doesn't work out, the name um, we'll call it Chris's Hong Kong Three. Call it Chris and Chris's Corner. Chris and Ben. Chris and Ben. Ben Chris, and Chris. Yeah, Chris and Ben is something like that. Kind of, kind of exciting. Yeah, but this is nice. This I haven't been at your house for a long time. Now here I am. I know, man. You only invite me over when you want to start business. Yeah, I was like, hey Ben, uh, do you want to start a podcast in my house, like on the couches and fucking using just... sh- using Shane Gillis as the. Uh, well, we're, co- model podcaster. We're, we're copying Shane with the handheld mics, and uh, well, we're big fans of. Sh- I'm a huge Shane fan. Model podcaster is kind of funny. Yeah, well, I mean, Shane would be the model. Shane, Shane and Matt are number. <clears throat> Shane and Matt are number one on Patreon, and they're they're um, they're model for uh, having the first hour free, and then the second uh, the second half on the Patreon. I think that's it's pretty genius. It's it sold me. I was like, shit. I want to keep, I want to, I want to keep hearing these guys. Now, is there any way to fast track ourselves to two hundred and fifty thousand Patreons without putting in the work required to actually build that organically? Two hundred fifty. So two hundred fifty thousand. So that well, how many? First of all, how many do? How many subscribers do they have? They have like about sixty five k, which is number. So one. I was, I was about one hundred fifty thousand. So yeah, yeah. So, you, so you're, people. yeah. So <laughs> that would be uh three. Three or five times more. Um, I think I could, we my, it, my whole my life's motto is to is to set your goal pretty loftily high. So yeah. when you exceed the bare minimum, you're no. I mean, I think two hundred and fifty thousand people is attainable. I think it's attainable too. It's not even one percent of the United States population. I think. I yeah, United States is what uh probably, probably three hundred thousand people. Uh, no, it's uh. <laughs> I think it's, it's I think it's probably closer to a billion now. Yeah, uh, we're on we're on the track to a bill. China's on track to what five billion. Um, but hey, Hong what Kong. What happens when there's more podcasts than people? Then there's a there's, a, sur- there's a surplus of. Uh, I th- man, well, that's gonna happen. That would that would never. Because it's gonna be ro- it's gonna be robots. It's gonna be AIs. So it's gonna be AI podcasts. We should we should have thought of that. AI well, we're podcast. gonna we're gonna um, we'll be at the, we'll be like num there'll there'll be an AI podcast at number one and we'll be number two and we'll be like we'll be fighting fighting the AI, Hong Kong two style. Shane and what's his name Matt Matt McCusker. You sure there's their podcast isn't AI generated? You know it might be, but I think uh, not. You gotta you gotta get you, you gotta give it a listen. Um, I've never I've never I don't listen to podcasts anymore. In my in my heyday, 
when I was working manual labor, yeah. I would listen to a lot of true crime podcasts. Yeah. Manu- my, when you were working manual sandwich, I was working manual sandwich labor. I was I was listening to a lot of, uh, you know what? There's a lot of podcasts where it's two chicks. Yep, and they talk about a case that's fifty years old. Oh, what like, like, true like crime? cold cases? Yeah, true crime yeah, type yeah. stuff, Mur- murder mystery. And shit. without without fail, it's always some middle-aged woman and her friend they talking like about it shit. they really do girls love uh serial killers name For- one po- name one podcast with a girl where they don't talk about true crime uh i, I honestly don't know a lot of uh girl podcasts. girl podcasts but i there's there's some popular the ones i see on instagram are, are like like fucking it's, it's called like thought something or like thought cast yeah some like adam 22 type shit mm. or it's that uh girl uh pearl you know that girl pearl no, what, she's like the, uh, she was like dubbed the the female Andrew Tate, that blonde girl. Oh who's yeah, like, yeah. Who's like, who she she just she's like saying red pilled stuff like about women, right? Like anti feminism stuff. Shit, but at least it's not fucking true crime podcast. Yeah, that's. But that's I true. I really don't know why I'm shitting on it because I used to listen to it all the time. I think uh I think um there's something ser- serendipitous about yes. about a uh, I think we're using that I think I was using <laughs> that word wrong all day. Chris, um, has, Chris has been saying serendipitous at the grocery store, and then also another time at work, I think. He said it twice, twice, it twice in front so, of me yeah. today. Yeah. I don't even think I know what it means anymore. It's been I think misused. serendipitous means, like, spontaneous in, like, a delightful way. That's what I, I think that's what it is. We don't have a uh, producer to look things up for us. Serendipitous is, like, that's a, bi- that's a big word. Let me look it up. How do you spell it? Take a wild guess. Uh, hell no. S e r i n d i, serin dip, p, dip e, e, dip Well, I got dis. serendipity. D d o. S e r e n d i p i t y. I t y. Uh, noun: the occurrence <laughs> and development of events by chance in a happy or beneficial way. I was correct. Well, then I was, this podcast would be serendipitous. Then, yes, we should just call it the serendipitous podcast. That's actually. <laughs> That's Instead a, that's of Hong a pretty Kong badass too. name, the Serendipitous Podcast. Yeah, but people wouldn't know what it means, though. Yeah, but if I if I saw that, we'd probably have to start every podcast. Park- if I heard that, I think it would be like a girl or something, a girl's podcast. It's, just, it's kind of a girly name. We should do it's a good word though. We should we should uh, do. What would be my girl name? Benjamin. It wouldn't be wouldn't be uh. Um, Betty. Betty. Betty and Christina's true crime mm, Christy. podcast. I like Christy better. Christy, I was say, I was telling Chris the other day that if uh you, you he was me? A, if if I was I was telling Chris the other day that my dream girl is a girl named Christina who shreds mm-hmm. on the guitar. Why Christina though? Is that just a generic hot she's girl? She's got name? she's got long hair and she's blonde. She's blonde. She knows You're how to cook. She's describing me. She, <laughs> she, <laughs> you I play girl. guitar. I shred on guitar. I can shred on guitar. I have Basi- long hair. Basically, my dream girl is Chris. And, and, is, and me is, and Chris, me and Chris are currently we're cooking, we're cooking white rice. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait for yeah, not, wait for not to cut you off, but uh, well, Chris, uh, is, Chris is the food, the food meister here. Yeah, uh, we're cooking uh, white rice and uh, some pork patties, and that's what I, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah, well, they're not just pork patties. You Continue. know my obse- you know my obsession with uh, Vietnamese cooking. Um, Fucking, it's this, it's this dish or, yeah, it's a dish. It's called bun cha. Bun cha. It's spelled how? Uh, B-U-N-C-H-A. And it has fucking the uh, Vietnamese squiggles and uh, accents on them. Okay. But it's, uh, it's just a, it's just a marinated, it's just ground pork um, or other mixtures of beef. Uh, it's like basically like a mini hamburger, but it's, uh. It's mar. It's as a marinade, usually of. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you what it is because I feel like if you want I told, it to be a surprise. Well, I, I just don't want you to be grossed out. You're gonna love it. It's gonna be delicious. But once I describe what's mm. in it, you're gonna be like, right. what sauce? Right. So, but hey, maybe by the time shit, it's, is it shit? No, it's no, it's, it's not good. Shit. It's great. It's trust me. Well, have I made you bad food? No, you've not. You've not. You've not ever made me a bad. You you have made you've made dishes that I'm not too fond of. Like uh, ribs. You didn't like the ribs. I'm not a big rib guy. 
I like the I like the type of ribs that fall off. The you bone. shake them and then they fall right off the okay. bone. That's I, not a competition I like Instagram style. Instagram short ribs. <clears throat> Instagram short ribs. What's that? I'm very I'm very particular about my food. I'm not even a foodie, but I have. Chris says I have food trauma. From, be, a, from being food abused as a child. It it's a real thing. Food trauma is a real thing. But I mean, uh I think you're I think we're we're making progress. I think the older I'm getting, the less I start to care about what I'm putting into my body. It, 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 not necessarily in terms of what it is, but like taste, you know what I mean? If taste. it's edible and it's filler, if it's filling me up, yeah. then I'm going to eat it. You know, yeah. We even if it does away. have a, even if it does have a slab of sauce that I don't like, we gotta we gotta stay away from the slop though. No, no, no you're, we, you're, we don't. You're, you're slop enthusiast. McDonald's is awesome. I speaking of, I had McDonald's yesterday for the first time in must have been a couple of weeks, and it was. I mean, and, I can't I can't say shit because I'm seventy pounds heavier than you, so I'm the I'm the one. <clears throat> How, but how? Be, but but are you seventy pounds heavier because you're eating slop all the time, or just because what you prepare for yourself is uh, making you seventy pounds? That's a, that's a lifelong man. question I've had. Um, it's a combination of like inactivity and uh, like eating too, like eating just like when you pig out. You know, sometimes you're just like bored and you're like, oh, it's three in the afternoon. I got work done, but I do that. I do, I do, I do that as well, and I've remained skinny my entire. You're also 29. I'm 23. I'm 28, Ben. 28. Are you really 28? I'm really 28. I, I, swear to I God, turned I thought, 29. I thought, I thought you were 30, and I was being polite. And when I said 29, yeah, you were being 30. I mean, you were being polite. <laughs> you were being polite when you. Yeah, yeah. You were not being polite. When well, you, you told us. me. I, I'm. I'm pretty sure you told. I probably joked about being 30. Yeah, but I don't take jokes well. I'm you, 20, you I'm turn, I'm turn, my truth. birthday. I'm turning 29 uh, in three weeks. Really? What, when, what's your birthday? August 14th. So you're a Scorpio. So if you want to give me, by the time this is out, you want to give me a gift. I'll put my, I'll put my ad, my full address and government name uh, in the video. What, Even though everybody already knows my government name. What's your, what's your star sign? Is star sign just like the normal sign, or is that some other hol, hol, not hologram. My holographic sign. Fuck. What's it called? Your uh, not your my hologram. Rising. Your horoscope. My, my hor. I'm a Leo. a Leo. A Leo. Nice. So is Nick. You know what's really impressive about Nick that I was gonna bring up is he knows all of the horoscopes. He knows every single one from the day, and then what sign it is. It's pretty impressive. It's good. It's because he's uh. It's because he's uh. He's charismatic and very social so he probably like uh exactly that, good, that's what it is you get an opener you know? i used to i used to think that horoscopes were super gay and anybody who knew them was beneath me but <laughs> now that i now that i know that nick knows all of them and he'll that's the first thing he says when, when whenever he meets somebody he'll go what's your birthday and then they'll tell him his birthday he'll go, oh so you're scorpio yeah and they'll be like what? oh my god yeah and it's great that like immediately damn especially with like really big Titty blonde, big butt girls, they love it. <clears throat> oh, they, they love this, the not the, necessarily that type of girl, but if we're you, being if you're saying hot girls, like hor if, if we ran into an e girl and we told her what her horoscope was, yeah, they probably wouldn't like it actually. Her horoscope, it. so it's it's her it's her zodiac. Horoscope is like zodiac sign, horoscope is like the lore behind your zodiac. What's the thing that you read in the daily newspapers and it tells you what's going to happen to you that that's day? That's your horoscope. That's your horoscope. Yeah. That's but the actual about. name, like I'm a Leo, that's that's your zodiac sign or your zodiac. And what well, what zodiac you, sign? What, what, what that's are you, what I was thinking. What of. are you? I'm a Capricorn. Capricorn. I'm a Capricorn, which means I'm compatible with blondes <laughs> with blue eyes. Yeah, that's like it means you're like corn. <laughs> um Damn. Yeah. No. I. Uh. I never looked into the horoscope stuff. But, Did you? Ever, uh, have you ever dated a chick who was like a firm believer in that? Oh and, yeah. Or, or I mean, probably pretty much all of them. Well, the thing. The thing about girls who are believers in the zodiac stuff is they usually, they're all type X personality or whatever. Where they're they're also very active on Twitter, and they're oh, and they're yeah. you mean on X. On X, yeah, 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 yeah. Did that happen yet? Did did Elon? I don't Musk think do it that? happened yet. I, it, Elon might be doing some trolling, in my opinion. You think? No, he's not, because in his new Twitter, in it not his new, but in his Twitter profile, 
Next to the blue check mark, he's got a X. It's black, oh. and white, and it's a little badge. It's very cool looking, and it and I'm assuming that he wouldn't put it there unless he was serious about. Yeah, I'm pretty indifferent to whether it changes or not. I'm just gonna. Oh, I mean, I'm gonna look for the. Every time I open up Twitter, I'm looking for the blue fucking bird. But if I, I have to look for a black X or some black icon with a white X in it, it's like that's like harder to find on your phone. It's really not that bad though. I mean. When 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 he announced it, did you see that X videos was trending? Same thing. Really? With, well, a lot of porn stuff was trending. Yes, because the which X. leads me to believe that Twitter will no longer be able. I mean, I just to host porn. That's kinda, that just gives me a bad vibe. Yeah. The fact that Twitter is going to be named X, and anytime you look up, you want to look up Twitter, you're going to have to look up X. You're going to be. You're gonna yeah, be what do you, what do you t- yeah? I mean, what do you, what do you even say for two more X's? To see what do you porn? say instead of tweeting? You say, "Oh, I X'd it." I, I'm Xing, yeah. Yeah, I'm Xing. What the fuck? Also, that just is ridiculous. Why would they get rid of the Twitter bird in the in the tweet noise? That shit is awesome. But they got rid of that too. Man, they re- Elon Musk is really. I don't think the X thing is a good initiative, <clears throat> but. That's neither here nor there. Yeah, we'll have Elon on, uh, Nicole, and he's going to be a guest. <laughs> Jet Jet just found out that Elon Musk had dated Grimes for a short period of time. He just found that out. He just I've, found that I've out. Been done, known that. Old news. That's old news. What do you think of Grimes? Smash Pass. I think Grimes is kind of. I like. I like Grimes. I think she's kind of cute. She's cute. I I don't, I don't like the fucking. She's got big teeth. That's my gripe with Grimes. Is her teeth are mm. they're disproportionately she didn't big. Cho- she didn't choose that though. There, it doesn't change the that fact God, that, that I God's wouldn't choice. want anything to do with her because of that. She makes music though; she's talented. Are they any good? I've, I don't I've, know. I've never <laughs> taken the time to listen. I like her. I I like Grimes's nose. Is it is it like short and indented? No, it's, it should it's, be. Uh, I just. <laughs> <laughs> is, do you have, yeah, your nose supremacist. Uh, I I just think she has a cute nose. She's. Uh, I don't like the fucking weird like esoteric bullshit that she spouts, but. Um, She's, I think she's cute. I bet if you told Grimes her zodiac sign straight after meeting her, she'd fuck you. She seems like that type yeah, of girl. Yeah, yeah, she'd definitely do that. Uh, I think uh, no. All respect to Grimes. Shout out Grimes. Um, you're eventually gonna watch this podcast, but uh, <laughs> you'll probably no. be watching this as yeah. soon as it goes live. Yeah, I mean, um, hey man, Hong Kong too. Um, Grimes yeah. has another thing about Grimes. She has very sharp tattoos. She uh, none sharp. Of her, yeah. The oh po- yeah, 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 pointy, yeah, yeah, pointy yeah. edges. Her back. Her, she has a she has a back piece that I think is like, like if you, it's like red ink if or something. If you fucked her, it would hurt because her because tattoos her... are so pointy. Oh okay. You'd have synthesis. Not literally, and... but just I would be uncomfortable. I'd you'd get, be uh, yeah. You'd, you'd your eyes. You'd go cross eyed. It's and... like walking your eyes through a thorn bush. <laughs> so you said you were telling me before we started you had a uh, well, but. To, pre- to preface, me and Chris had to clean his entire house before beginning the podcast because it was a complete shithole, and I was tasked with the cleaning part of it. And Chris, and we, it was, Chris was, it was tasked, a collaboration. Chris, Chris tasked himself with the supervising part. I was. It was a collaboration. That's a lie. Yeah, it was a collab- it was we, collaboration. We, me and Chris had to clean, and there was these. There was a pair of. There was a, a Nike shoe box. Mm-hmm. It, was a, it was a Nike shoe box, but it said. Mason Margella on it. So it wasn't Mason Margella's so, shoe, it was a Nike box. It was a Nike box. It was a pair of Margellas that I bought off Grailed. Great great website. Great service. Um and it was a it was a pair of uh, 2018 mar- um, replicas. And uh um, You'll have to elaborate because I don't know what a pair of 2018 so, replicas are. So, you want to uh they're right. They're the the yellow and black ones right there. If you want to grab them, oh, grab them. So these quick. are the shoes in question. Kind of tore them up as of recently. Ugh. But so I bought these shoes um, off Grailed. Uh, Show new. the camera real quick. Yeah, yeah. They're they're new, new with no box. That's why they were in a Nike box. But anyways, um, so I bought them and they had some. I own a couple pairs of Margellas. I'm not a shoe head guy, but. I own a couple pair, and they didn't have uh, some certain markings that Margellas usually have on the shoe. I can see where this is heading. So, I was DM after I bought them, and I DM the dude, and uh, I was like, 
Wait, Yo. by markings, you mean the? Uh, are you talking about the numbers that go on the inside of the Margella shoes? How they? It was. They, it, cir- they circle. Do, isn't that what they do? Or am I thinking they of something circle, else? Uh, yeah. So the there's size, right? Yeah. There. Uh, n- they don't. There's. There's a. There's a. There's a print that has. Um, I forgot what sequence of numbers. I think it's like from one to twenty-two or something. Anyways, there were some markings that weren't there, and I asked the dude. I was like, "Hey." Um, is there a reason like there's not markings on this? I I owned a couple other ones. I was very polite. And he's like, he's like, are you saying they're fake? Out the gate, the dude in the DMs who I bought it from was like, are you saying these are fake? Like, um, and I was like, no, dude. I'm just saying I've seen other ones of this kind. But with- you were implying they were fake. I was I was questioning. I was just saying, hey, like, <laughs> but you would have it- no other reason to. Yeah, I wanted you, to. You thought I they were to- fake. I was questioning if they were fake. Right, I, I was right. with Joey and uh, and Laker. They could have been real though. And they, the I Joey said they were real, okay. and I trust Joey's judgment. He's the one who got me into the shoes. But the anyways, the dude just like went off on me. He was like, oh, "I wonder if I have the mess." Hold on, I think I deleted the Grail app. He just went off. And he was just he was uh, um. You paraphrase. He's being he's being a silly Billy. Um, and he was calling, he was saying, uh, it's like, dude, you you goofy as hell. You like, um, why would you fucking buy this without knowing your shit? You don't know. Sh-. He said, you don't know shit about like Margellas. And then I sent a picture of basically that. There's a bunch of fucking my pairs in the court in the corner there. And he's like, you don't know shit. But anyways, I tried to get him. I left a really bad review. He was just a no, but I was just getting pissed off at some f- random <laughs> on the internet. We'll bleep that out. <laughs> um, wow. Yeah. How much did you pay for them, those shoes? Uh, like 300 bucks. How much do they go for new? Uh, they, they were new. They were they brand were, new. They were new. I could tell they were new. They just didn't have the box. You'll have to tell me the end of that story. Can I kind of tuned you out after you said, we'll bleep that out? I just... Uh, you, said, you said he was a beep. And yeah. Then, yeah and, what, he, and then what else did you say? So how did the story end? Uh, I just tried to get him banned off Grailed. Did it work? No. I just told, I told Grailed... Apparently, Grail just sucks, and you can't fucking the customer service. It just sucks. It's just I. Did I was, you confirm whether they were real or fake? They're so because they were a uh, very specific style of shoe at the time. Joey and Laker both were certain that they were real, and I'm pretty certain that they're real. It's 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 a specific. Um, I, I think the issue is you didn't get the elite edition, which had the markings that your shoes yeah, are missing. Yeah, I didn't get the elite edition, but um, I wear them still. And uh, and that uh, be, the 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 moral of the story was uh, the people on Grail are fucking retards. I've I've used Grail. What what did I buy off Grail? I bought one thing off. Of, it was so insignificant. I can't even remember. I've just always Grail is so. Lame. Why yeah, do I just, think? Why do I think that Grailed is so lame? Is it just because I'm not into designer shit, or is Grailed actually? Um, I legitimate? mean, it's good for like if you, should, if we, you, should we wait? Should we cut real quick and just get another drink? And we're back. So, Grailed UI sucks. It's too black and white. And I have an interesting story. We should be firefighters. Yeah, we should. I uh, I I actually we should start a fire in practice. We we could do that in my backyard. We did that uh, when we made the Marvel Stew video. The shit, the shit stew, yeah, yeah, that was awesome. You know, I saw a funny comment on that video, and it was... Uh, Chris sucks. No. <laughs> it was uh, Joey's the only one smart enough to not stand in the shit fumes. And the in the cut, there was a cut to Joey standing at your window yeah, looking yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, right there. Yeah. Give me, it cracked that was me a, That was a funny cut. That was a funny that cut. That was a funny video. Luke, Luke, uh, Luke cut that. Get the fuck out, Luke really? And, Luke and this other guy, Kosho, uh, did the cut No that. shit. Yes, shit. Who did the Infinity Stone... Shit, I I don't know who did what, but it was uh Luke. That's pretty, that's Luke, pretty interesting. That's Luke, a deep cut. Luke, that was before World Peace. Yeah, speaking of World Peace, shooting. Speaking of World speaking Peace, speaking of World Peace. Of world peace. <laughs> Should we talk? We could talk about MDE shit on here, can't we? No. What's that? <laughs> uh, yeah, world. Uh, yeah, World Peace is cut. World Peace is not cut, but World Peace is it's wrapped. Done. It's, it's wrapped for film. World Peace is wrapped. It's me, wrapped. Me and Chris killed it. Me and Chris you kinda, killed it. Me and you Chris killed it. Me and Chris kind of put the. Do you know what I on did our... on 
on set. You were, the, you were I getting was, waters. I was getting waters. Doing water I got, runs, I got which pizza. Which was very important. I got pizza. I if, bought emergency. If we didn't have pizza and waters, I might not have been able I to. I bought emergency tough cards, which yeah, cost it was, out of my pocket you, 600 you, bucks. Don't don't undersell yourself, Chris. You were an important um, part of the production. I, uh, I transported the uh, tough cards. Mainly the pizza, though. The pizza was the kind pizza, of the, pizza the was most clutch. awesome part yeah. of your involvement. That was Bobby ordered so a lot of pizza. Sick. Bobby ordered a lot of pizza. Shout out to Bobby. Shout out to Alex Bobby Schultz. Hector. Bobby Hector and uh, Alex Schultz. And Luke. Yeah, Alex, yeah, Luke. definitely. Mindless. We gotta get we get Luke on here. Definitely. We should get Luke would be fun to Luke talk to. Be, Luke oh, Luke could fucking Luke tear could it up. go all day. Oh yeah. Luke deserves to be on this pod. What was your favorite? Sk- yeah, should we? Do- uh, my favorite. My, uh, yeah, my favorite- let's talk about it. Fuck it. Oh no, trust your- me. There's there's tons of uh, behind the scenes stuff that's already been uh, posted Please. onto YouTube and stuff. Um, but um, my my favorite my favorite shoot to be on set for was. Uh, it was either female comedy school or I'm, for, I'm forgetting the sketches. Female comedy school was pretty good actually now that you mention it. It was it was the third sketch. Yeah, that was that was really that early was on. really good. It was really early on. That was probably the most like Mary. Yeah, that's where Mary we met was Mary. Great. Okay, can you describe Mary to everybody so if you don't know Follow, follow Mary, Mary is an extra, and well, she she she's more than extra. She has she, way she, more than extra. But she I'm has saying, shit I'm saying roles. She she was an actor that we that Alex found, and um, she's been in um, three sketches with with all with speaking roles. And she's so funny. She's so funny. She's shout really out to Mary. Good. Yeah. Um, Mar- what's her last name? Mary Tennant. Tennant. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mary. Shout out to Mary Tennant. We'll put her uh, Instagram. Uh, in the pod, uh, honestly, all, who's your favorite? Um, I like. Uh, we had extras come out. Um, uh, Cal, Cal's great. We had a we yeah. Cal was very funny. My favorite extra, you're asking? I think my favorite extra was probably well. Mary is obviously it's kind of a that's sh- kind of a easy. It's Cal, an easy out. He, Cal's a great guy. Cal's a great guy. Cal's a nice He's, guy. Cal's kind of funny. Who else is funny? Cal's very funny. Cal's very. F- well, he, he did the he did the smile bit. Oh the, yeah, 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 yeah 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 yeah. That's he's, great. he's super funny. Yeah yeah. That's Cal's great. great. Cal's great. I was thinking of somebody Shouts else. Out to Cal. Cal's funny. Um, we had a lot of James. Cal's good. Who else? Um, James. I'm not familiar. James. He was the one with the uh, long hair. I like BG Cumby. BG Cumby. BG Cumby was like the celebrity extra. Who yeah, was, yeah yeah yeah. Isn't that crazy? He was our. He he pulled up. He was the, awesome. For the he AI was sketch. so good. Yeah, shout out BG Cumby. Funny. Follow BG Cumby on see. YouTube. Subscribe. You know the funniest sketch that we shot, in my opinion, or maybe it, I don't know if it'll be the funniest in post, but the one that I was laughing the hardest during shooting was uh, America's Next Top Daddy Dom. Were you there for that? Oh, that that <clears throat> that was definitely one of my favorite. That one was just excruciating. Like to, it was just it's like a thirteen-hour day, bro. The America's Next Top Daddy. That it was, was, excru- was, excru- was excruciating. The prom sketch was also prom sketch that was, was just like a twenty terrible. hour day. I felt I felt it wasn't terrible. It was just I felt, a, I fell asleep during the prom sketch. Yeah, I admittedly. That. Yeah, yeah. Cut that out. And uh <laughs> no, 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 we'll give you that. Yeah. It was a long day. It was a long it was, day. It was a long day. We we had to ride around on the limo and Ben's with the boom like this. Yeah, I was not I, not nodding off, but I was <laughs> sleeping. We were filming World Peace and Fish Tank concurrently. Dude, you were a superstar that was awesome. with that. You were fucking the fact, that, dude, going from fish tank to world peace, especially with the fact that we had to like move like equipment and like memory cards, it was it was insanity. Yeah, but we did it. We we it was, did it. It was it was a it was a really good. It was great. It was a really good time, <clears throat> and we were all working very hard. Oh yeah, and we're still working very hard. We're working really hard on. Uh, you're doing. You're killing it on the world peace edits. They're coming along very good. Yeah. Very funny. Those are awesome. Everything's coming along good. We haven't really had. You know what shocked me is we there were not really that many mess ups during season two. No, I, I there I were mean, hardly there were hardly any mess ups actually. Now that I think no, about no, it. no, no, there is there is no, there is no nothing catas nothing. We we shot every sketch. There was no like redos for yeah. a sketch, and that like nothing where like 
oh, like the 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 data got lost or everything fucking God was on our side. Yeah, God was on our God side. God was for on sure. our side and we did not make I don't think we made one mistake that was like a critical error. Yeah, nothing there was that, nothing, nothing like that. It nothing was pretty that incredible. costed money no, to we're, like, we've yeah. been really on our me and Chris work hard. No. Me and ben, Chris Ben's hard. a hard worker. Ben, I, I, I gotta, give, give, I gotta, it gotta give it to Chris though. Me and Chris, yeah. we compliment each other. That's one yeah. thing about me and Chris is we like to compliment each other back and forth until we have nothing yeah. left to say to each other. That's why. That's why Hong Kong Two uh, is going to be so awesome. It's going to be a two hour long compliment fest. Yes, but no, we gotta rip. Well, we gotta rip on each other a little bit. But I think the real fun comes in when we when we have a, when we have a third right there. I agree. That's the, that's the spot. Now, do you right think there. we'd ever get somebody who? We could like shit on with unknowing. I think that'd like, be too like, mean. Like sh- no, I don't want to shit. No, 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 I don't. I don't want to do that. I don't want to get anybody here who would. We'll, we'll see with it. We'll see where this journey takes us. But um, okay, if you could have one celebrity guest on Hong Kong too, who's alive or dead, celebrity guest. It's um, not Tupac. Riff Raff. Riff Raff would be really funny. Sick. He's awesome. He's super good. Uh, Jesse Lee Peterson. He's dead, I believe. No, he's not. Isn't he? You know, you the, know the black dude who does the, the the, back and forth with liberals. Yeah, he's not dead. I thought he was dead. No, if is he if he's dead, then I would have known. Wow. I mean, he's he's getting there. I was he's under old. the impression that he died like six months ago. That's interesting. Oh no no no. no. Oh well, in that case, we can have him on. He's pretty. I would funny. love to have Destiny on here, but like, nope. but like, nope. Destiny like talking about like uh like mundane things like because because destiny's like a debate person right so i would love to talk to him about like so like what's your um what's your go-to okay you have you have uh french fries in front of you what's your go-to sauce is it ketchup is yeah. it a chipotle mayo right because like i don't think because destiny's would you want to debate him on those things though Yes, what if, what if he turns I, would him- de- I would debate him on things that are non-political or non-social. Because he's like, going to turn anything that you give him into a debate. Not necessarily, it, but maybe. But I, but that's that's the fun of it. Because like he's doing debates uh, about social issues, politics. But I would love to debate him on, on like, uh, uh, well, ketchup versus yeah, mustard. Ketchup versus mustard. Or like uh, the best way to cook pork all day. And so you so speaking of speaking of ketchup versus mustard. Oh great! Here we fucking so go. So you enjoy you enjoy ketchup, do you not? I love ketchup. You it's love ketchup. one of the best condiments in my opinion, right below mayonnaise. You like mayonnaise? I think mayonnaise is. What? Well, f- it depends. If we're talking about hot dogs, I prefer ketchup. But if we're talking about burgers, I'd much rather have mayonnaise. You'd have a mayonnaise on a burger. Okay. Right. What's your favorite Burger King item? Oh. Dude, are you kidding me? Are you <laughs> shitting me right now? Dude, did you know that Burger King has... Okay, so the the best thing... I put thing, you on to Zesty Sauce. The, the best thing about Burger King is they have this amazing deal for poor people called the Five for Five. <laughs> yeah. And it's incredible. You can and go, we're not poor people. No, no, no. We just, I'm, we I'm just sorry. Decide. It's, yeah. a, it's, a ten, it's a... What is it? It's a ten for... Two for ten. Yeah, that's what it is. It's two. a two for ten. And I haven't gone there. They have a two for that's five. What, I'm no, having a hard time recollecting two it. Fi- two for five. No, the, I'm having a hard time recollecting it. No, no, no. no, no. Two, there's, there's, the, there's the meal. There's the, there's the double meal, but there's a two for five sandwich. So I'm not fucking up. So you can get you can right, get you can get, right. you can get an original chicken and like a, a big king for five bucks. The reason that I had a hard time recollecting it is because I haven't been poor. <laughs> My boss at D'Angelo's. Oh, we we'll have to tell that story one day. Yeah, D'Angelo's yeah. boss. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anyways, back to Burger King. The uh, favorite. Uh, so the two, I, I, for, the two for asked, ten is awesome. Yeah, I asked what your f- my does, favorite item besides the deals. What's your favorite singular item? Don't uh don't know. Don't I, I guess don't ba- know. chicken 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 sandwich. Big chicken. Or big big uh the 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 ori- the, the long boy. The original long boy. Is that that so is my good. that is my favorite. So good uh, with the mayonnaise is I mean, pr- amazing. Th- yeah. It's, now I want to know. This is something that I've never learned in my life. How do you deep fry chicken? How, how do, you do you ha- do you have to buy a deep fryer? Or do you just get how you deep fry chicken? Uh, you can do a, a lot of. Different. If I wanted if, to make a Burger King esque chicken sandwich, could I just put ban- panko breadcrumbs, or should I deep fry it? That's a well. The 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 elongated original chicken sandwich patty is a proprietary Burger King item. So it's or, but the way or it's or cooked, I'm, I'm I'm talking about the breading. You could, you could shallow fry it. 
Well, well they're they have they these establishments have deep fryers, so they have a fro they have a frozen disc or whatever you and they deep fry it, but um, it's minced. It's 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 basically it's basically an elongated chicken nugget at the end of the day. Right. So. Um, yeah, but I mean, I'm saying, are you, I'm trying, about, are you trying to make a homemade? But before it goes into the deep fryer, okay, when it's in the it's fac- made a factory, when it's in the factory, <laughs> that's what I'm. That's what I'm talking about here. It's a paste. It's it's, it's, a, it's a paste that's formed. It's, yeah, they the, have a mold. The crustiness, the the crunch. It's just uh fucking breadcrumbs. So uh, they, some so some they, sort of breadcrumbs. So they, pa- so they put breadcrumbs on paste. Is what you're saying? Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. So pa- they probably paste isn't accessible in store. Which is, if it was, I'd buy it. Once we once we have uh video for uh obs and we, we could we, put we it can on do how it's made up oh or, have you yeah. seen the video of um how mcdonald's chicken nuggets are made yeah it's great that's pretty yeah. awesome yeah it's pretty great <laughs> the pink paste yeah, yeah, yeah. it's, it's, like, it's like how hot dogs are made now now my theory is the way that mcdonald's gets their pink paste is they'll take chickens so they, so they won't skin the chicken they'll take it with feathers and all and they'll throw say a thousand chickens yeah. i don't know into a grinder and they'll yeah they'll pound up the chickens to such a to such a point where they just become pink paste. So people are freaking out about pink paste, but my whole theory is, if you throw a thousand chickens into a meat grinder and you just keep grinding it up, eventually it's going to be pink paste. So you're saying so you're saying that because it's so ground up, it's it doesn't matter paste. if there's feathers or yeah, eyeballs or whatever. No, who cares? It's, I mean, all, that's, it's that's, a chicken. It's that's a, that's, it's a that's, chicken. That's, that's probably the case. Yeah, I mean, it's a chicken. Um, that's what well, you're telling me. You wouldn't eat the eyes of a chicken if it was very finely ground and mixed into the I rest of its body. I wouldn't know. I mean, I'm eating. I'm I'm eating it. I mean, uh, there's probably good protein in the eyes, Ooh. and then fe- eating eating feathers. Feathers probably have tons of protein. Well, I mean, and like collagen and. Uh, I have I have a, I have a feeling that maybe they dip the chicken in acid. Would if you dip the chicken in acid? Do you think they do like a kind of like a cleaning process with the chicken? Well, a defeathering process rather, where they would There's dip, some de- defeathering going dip on. Dip the chicken into some kind of do you Sub- f- do you feel do you feel like it um there's like a do you feel this uh mass production of uh chicken products um do you think it's uh unethical? Yeah. yeah. I think I think uh I think it's unethical but I mean, there's really no recourse. You know what's a real crime? What's that? The current price of chicken wings. Which is? A lot. Absurd? Well, here's, here's, a, here's a reference. Uh, it's 2023. 2018, PJ's Pub, down the road from me. I live in Cranston, Rhode Island. PJ's Pub, 35 cent wings on Mondays. Wait, 35 and this cent. is for one wing? One wing is 35 cents. Okay. Uh, Can you do the math in your head? So, what's, what's ten wings? So ten wings is uh, fuck, thirty three six, say nine. So it's like three four dollars round up with tax. So it's ten like, wing ten, ten wings ten wings for four bucks, right? Damn. Now now, ba- basket of ten wings, twelve bucks. No shit. At the same place? Same pl- any place you go to. Na- na- name name a place that. It's that's a good point, yeah. But the thing is, you're, you're, one, what, one what, chicken is two wings, though. If you think about it, yeah. But you're talking about inflation. We're talking about chicken wings. It's in well. This was po- this was pre COVID. So pre COVID, four dollar ten piece chicken wings. Yeah. So post COVID, we're talking post COVID. It's yeah. A lot of a lot of stuff happened. And how post do you feel, pandemic. how do you feel about that? Well, it's just it's just how it is. How I mean, you, how, it, why though? Why is that? Why it is? Uh, there's probably a lot of different factors. I mean, sh- general inflation. I mean, I'm um, it's 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 uh, incentivizing me to cook at home. I can mean, you check your mic levels real quick because it, yeah. it looks like your mic is going kind of low. Hello, you can. Oh, s- boom, that's you're me. Good. You're yeah. good, right? I'm good. Okay, yeah. I've been monitoring. I'm it. just looking at the um, <clears throat> memos right there. Anyways, yeah. yeah, I don't understand. You get to cook at home. Yeah, it's, but I do. I cooking at home is expensive too. It's it if you do it the right. It's not. It's it's no, really not. It's expensive. The meal I'm about Regardless. to the meal we're about to eat is which is uh, which the is me, the meal which is that white the, rice the, and pork. By yeah, the way, it's white white rice and pork, uh, ground pork 
it is your the meal that you're going to eat is going to be let's call it uh two dollars and fifty cents and you're and it, you're going to be it's full full it's, it's going to be filling it's going to be it's, it's the it's the uh marinated pork patties and rice okay and it's it's gonna be it's gonna be like two bucks and you were saying there was a secret sauce I wouldn't like on it earlier. But let's, it's, it's, let's move on. Let's not it's, 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 it's a marinade. You'll 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 see it. It's, you'll taste it. It'll I be wanna, good. I want to pick your brain about uh, meal prepping. Okay. Which is something I've been told to do on multiple yes. occasions. Yes. I've meal prepped before. Yes. My issue with meal prepping, I'll cook. So so okay. Just as a as an example, if I buy six cases of Tupperware. And I cook my, I use half of that, and I I fill three things of Tupperware with rice and chicken. Yes. Okay. This is at like what nine o'clock at night. Okay, I yep. finish my meal prep. I'll immediately eat one. Okay, so now I have two left by ten o'clock, and by one o'clock in the morning, I'll get hungry again. Yep. And I'll have another one. So now I've got one left. Yep. And I'll eat the next one at at work. So I I'd be meal prepping three meals. It's the, the rice is That's done. That's the rice cooker. But yeah, um, but so, so my 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 issue with meal prepping is it doesn't matter how many meals you prepare, if you're hungry, you're going to eat it, which is an issue. So you're saying like that you're eating, you're like meal prepping, and then you just keep eating right. too much. Like you, like you won't like eat one meal a day. Exactly. Oh, okay, but you you just make two then. Yeah, but then I have to cook every day. I don't want to cook every day. The I whole th- point of meal prepping is so you don't have to cook every day, which makes meal prepping pointless if I'm just going to eat everything one day. Um, so you you cook. Um, I mean, for me, yeah, you're in a you're in a conundrum now. Well, I <laughs> I uh when I when I was actually losing weight, um, I was I was make I was I was preparing chicken, grilled chicken, and I had it I had it ready to go, use the rice cooker, blast some rice, come back from the gym, heat up the chicken, eat it. Same thing next day. Do that for three days, repeat the process, prep the chicken. This is meal prepping you're talking about right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean the 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 hurdle for me in terms of meal prep and sticking to it is like oh i'm uh i'm you know fucking fat do it <laughs> yeah i'm fat yeah i'm fat so uh i make the meals and then i throw them away because they go old in my fridge and then i go get taco bell i'm sorry for interrupting no uh no meal meal prepping is like a meal eating meals at home and meal prepping is a very uh it's like a dance you have to like really like um it's all about discipline too, because you you can you can say like, oh, I'm gonna eat um, the grilled chicken I made for the third time this week. That's in the fridge, or I can go get Taco Bell down the street because you're sick of, right. you're sick of eating. And and you know what? Another thing, <clears throat> chicken after a while, it's not that good. <laughs> no, it's, it's really not. not. It's no, fucking it's not. It sucks. Chicken it does. Is so suck. boring. It's I, I'm like. What's the most boring, whitest, the lamest meat that yeah. you can cook that that is so lame that you'll want to eat it once? It's just so, chicken you, white, especially you get, you get, white breast white, chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is the worst. You gotta switch it up. I, 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 I used to cook uh, chicken thighs a lot. Chicken thighs is dark meat, and uh, I used to. I in, during the summer I would put on the grill, and you get the char marks, and that was that was a step up. The char. The charred like barbecue chicken. That was start, but I have to start the grill. It, there's a process. To it. You're you're kind of autistic when it comes to cooking. You'll cook something. You'll leave something on the grill for twelve hours because it needs to slow cook. First of all, that's called smoking. It's absurd. That's it's it's, it's not, a fake. It's a fake concept. And what <laughs> yeah, it is, right. it's meant to. Make you want to end the podcast now? <laughs> no. Um, no. I'm, I'm, it's not absurd. No, well, smoking, like, smoking, smoking, smoking is, is smoking is a whole different ballgame. That's that that smoking is not for day to day stuff. Smoking is for when I have a an event and I want to invite. Yeah, but people. when I think of Chris, I think of smoking and the grill kind, not the smoke kind. Yeah, yeah. Well, 
So when's the last time you you came over and I and you had a sm- smoked sm- meat uh, thing? It was, was it a couple pork? months ago? It was, it was a long it was pulled time. Pulled pork, ago. right? Pulled pork, yeah. yeah. And it was divine. Which, Say to the it camera, was not that divine. It was, it was, it not, was divine. not divine. It's not divine because not because it wasn't good. It's because I don't like pulled pork. I just oh, think, okay. I think pulled pork. Okay, is it's not really on my okay. alley, frankly. But okay. that's not. I'm and not, you don't I'm like not, ribs. Too, the meat apparently. was good. The meat was very tender yeah, and delicious. Yeah, yeah. It was it was good meat, but I mean, just something about pulled pork. I'm I'm not a fan of. All right, and well, continuing on. Well, next time I'll I'll do uh, bratwurst. I'll, do, I'll I'll smoke a sausage up of that. You'll probably love that. I did a smoked kielbasa. I don't know what kielbasa is. Let's say Polish uh, sausage. You'll you'll you would like it. It sounds familiar. It sounds like something Jimmy so Buffett would brat, sing about. Bratwurst, German sausage, kielbasa, kielbasa is Polish sausage. Polish. With a sweet sauce. So you Jameson knows all about kielbasa. Oh yeah, I think Jameson's gonna be. Uh, he should, he's got to be a guest. We gotta yeah, have yeah. him on. He's funny. Oh, th- there's there's gonna be a line of guests. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, as soon as the first episode comes out, we'll probably yeah, yeah, be yeah. flooded. Yeah, absolutely. We'll probably have to turn down Beyonce. Yeah. Because we've got right. Jameson coming up. So uh, right now we're reaching the one hour mark. Can we cut it and then? Uh, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna cut it and go to the Patreon, and uh, I think uh, I think uh, Ben's gonna talk about his uh, homeless endeavor. Yeah, I'm gonna talk about the homeless endeavor. Endeavor and, and set the, and set the story a, it was, straight. It was a homeless incident. We'll call it. Yes, and we're gonna set the story straight. So yeah. head over to the Patreon and. Uh, You'll hear you'll hear you'll hear it in its rawest form, and I and I'll make it really long and drawn out, so you have yeah, 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 you yeah. have extra time to listen to me talk. All right, so uh, head over to uh, HK Two Podcast on Patreon, and uh, fucking sign up, and uh, you'll hear the uh, you you'll you'll hear the extended cut. So that's the pilot episode. This this is the pilot. That's episode. the pilot. That's yeah. the free pilot episode. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty good. So uh, so we'll catch you on the Patreon, and we're gonna we're gonna go homeless style. All right, bye.